Hello friends, let's talk about Clapper and if I would download it, continue to use it, yada yada. So if you guys don't know what Clapper is, it has been gaining a bunch of attention within the last, I want to say like month, just because people are freaking out about the possible TikTok ban. Um, I don't know about y'all, but half of my page is about TikTok shit, so I would be thoroughly very upset if TikTok were to go away. Um, I downloaded Clapper a year ago because my friend Dory, who has a pretty good following on Clapper, said that, oh, it's in like beta stages. Uh, they need like more people to join. She's got like 80,000 followers on there and she makes keto content. So I was like, okay, sure, I'll give it a shot. I got tired of it really quickly. I was just getting like so frustrated with it. I was like, Mm, this isn't for me. Um, for shits and giggles, I thought it would be fun to, like, re-download it and take a look at, like, you know, if anything's changed, you know, all that. And Clapper does not... Okay, so obviously people at one point thought that TikTok was just, like, for little kids, like... Lip syncing and dancing was what you needed to do, like, to get big. But obviously, that's changed a lot. Now you have a bunch of small businesses or businesses, like, promoting their stuff on TikTok. Now you have, honestly, people of all ages. Like, some of my friends that are on TikTok are, like, 35 years old. And they connect with other people 35 years old and above. But I would say Clapper definitely is an older audience from what I could tell like some of my mutuals from TikTok moved over to Clapper just to like see you know if the ban were to happen if that was where they need to like re-upload all their content so yeah it's basically like an Americanized version of TikTok but I just not not as good um but it sucks because they do have some features that I enjoy, that I wish TikTok did, but they don't, like, utilize. So one of those things is, so you guys know how in TikTok, like, technically you can put, like, links for shit, but they really don't, they make it hard to see the links, or, like, you got to get creative with how you say that you have a link without, like, actually saying it type of thing um whereas like clapper you can put the links wherever and you don't need a thousand plus followers to put a link you can just put it whenever you want on clapper so i do like that aspect of it um you can't like click on the link but you can like copy the link that's put in the comments of the clapper video and then paste it um they do have this thing that I really like also, which is called the shop. It's under like the groups tab and it tells you your top gifters so that whoever does gift you and you want to like follow them, you don't have to like search through your live stream for it. It'll just tell you like a cumulative total of who your top gifters are. So it'll make it easy that way. I don't really live stream for tips in general. Um, I didn't really do that on TikTok and I certainly don't do it like any other place but for the people that do do that that's like a nice feature the radio feature some people like because you can have like a shit ton of people talking at one time and you can have like private group chats and stuff like that kind of different from doing like a live stream because like it's not you know you uh seeing anyone's face or anything it's just like people like a radio just talking um as for the payment system to monetize yourself with the tips and shit, um, the, I will say the coin system is better than TikTok, obviously. And then the tips itself, you do need $100 to cash out. So if you don't really get tips that often, it's way harder to cash out. I got like two tips in the total time that I was like on for the like years ago still had it totaled eight dollars so what I did was well I'm not really gonna get tips ever again probably so I converted 
the tips to coins and gave it to my friend who does actually make money from Clapper. Um, but these are things that while all those things are great, well, not the $100 cash out, while all those features are like cool and stuff, I think what's really going to cause people to like not want to use the app for much longer and just continue to use Facebook and Instagram is so the editing features not as good not good whatsoever actually um I usually edit my videos in TikTok because it's just so easy even with Instagram I don't like the way that people have like the editing features so I never would make like straight reels with my Instagram but with Clapper, the features still aren't good. So if you were to join Clapper, I would say that you would need either CapCut or InShot and then post your Clapper video. Um, although I'm not sure because I thought that CapCut was owned by TikTok or like at least had strong affiliations because I'm seeing like a shit ton of CapCut videos on my TikTok feed. So... I don't know if they're just, if they're correlated or if it's just like a feature that a lot of people like to use. So yeah, not sure on that one. Um, you do need to use like SnapTick or whatever type of like um, feature for that to get rid of the watermark because for um, Clapper, they don't allow you to repost your content with watermarks i mean technically none of the apps and stuff really encourage that type of thing but at least for like instagram and um tiktok they like kind of allowed it like if your audience was already watching your videos you probably get views from that but you wouldn't exactly get like new viewers from the algorithm watching the videos it's hard to describe in that aspect, but I'm pretty sure if you don't take watermarks off, like, they will completely just not show it to, like, anyone. Um, also, another thing. So, while, you know, some people would enjoy the idea of, like, yeah, you know, there's not, like, really kids on the app and anything. There's, like, more adults. And I, like, enjoy that aspect, too. But you have to think about what, like, audience is, like, actually watching the videos. Like, Clapper even said, because I did watch um, on their For You page, Clapper saying, well, um, because we don't really have, like, kids watching the videos, you know, if you post, like, say, your kids or you post, like, content that would be like that, like, watch out for who's actually watching it because there's a lot of adults and I was like kind of looking at, at the comment section which I think another thing that's going to make it so that people don't want to join is or that join but aren't going to actually use it like long term is the comments to view ratio is a lot smaller than what you notice on TikTok like you could post a video I don't know, say a thousand to five thousand views, or something even as small as like a hundred to two hundred views. You could expect at least someone or a couple people commenting on your video, right? I think what Clapper really misses is the lack of comments can be perceived to people using the app, like for the first time, as a lack of community as a lack of like new people coming to your page. So they get bored with it because there's not really that community aspect. Like, yeah, people are watching the videos, but unless you see sales, like if you're in affiliate marketing or you have like people commenting on your video saying, oh, I really enjoy the content. Oh yeah, like I liked this point that you talked about. You really aren't motivated to post because like, you know, there's not really that human interaction, which is something they lack, obviously. And then also, like, some of the comments are, like, low-key creepy. Like, I don't know. 
I know that TikTok had an issue with like creepers coming onto people's like videos and like saying some like weird shit. I think Clapper 100% has that issue worse. Like no doubt. So it is those reasonings where I'm like, you know, it sucks because like I want to like Clapper because it has these features that other platforms don't really utilize as well. But at the same time, that doesn't outweigh, you know, the cons of it. So hopefully this gives you some guidance as to whether or not, you know, Clapper is for you. Personally, if TikTok were to ever get banned, I would probably just move all of my content to YouTube Shorts. Um, I've been posting Facebook Reels for a while, and you can actually have clickable comments for the links, and then probably just still use Instagram Reels. Like, the world isn't going to end if TikTok leaves, but if it were to ever leave, I don't think I would go back to Clapper, like, long term. That's just my own opinion. If you have differing opinions, then that's all fine and dandy. This is just my view of it.